Um, hello. Hello. Um, I wanted to tell you that, like, Squidward as a character kind of ruined the clarinet for me and any hope of me ever wanting to play it. Me too. <laughs> I had a choice in fifth grade, like, what instrument do you want to play? And I'm like, not the clarinet. <laughs> My question, however, is, um... Personally, for me, growing up watching Spongebob, my favorite episodes were the older ones compared to the newer ones. And I wanted to know, like, do you prefer the older episodes to the newer ones? Now, that's a good question, because I've heard this comment uh, several times, and I'm wondering, is, is the reason you would, because I want to ask you, I'm going to critique you, uh, or ask you to critique this, uh, what's the difference in the early episodes and the ones, the ones that you're talking about? How, how, how well did they differ? Because it could be, because you experienced the early episodes when you were at a much younger age, and animation was a different animal to you than when you got older and smarter and wiser, so, and, and more receptive. So I'm just wondering what is the real difference. I, there, all shows have evolution. The, the, the writers come and go, and sometimes the new writers are um, in keeping with what made the, the initial show good, and sometimes they're not. You get away from that, and then you get back to it a little bit later when you realize you've made a mistake. So, uh, if you, do you have any idea about what the, the initial shows were that, that, that gave you that comment? I honestly thought they were more clever, like, in funnier, the way they went on. Like, with the episode where they got stranded in the forest and the plane dropped a bunch of supplies and the conch shell, ringing any bells, I'm not good with names. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that, I loved it. It was, I, I wanted to say beautiful, but genius <laughs> for me. And I just thought they were more clever than like the new episodes with like how Plankton does stuff, all of that jazz. Yeah, I'm, I'll have to say um, I, one of the things that I like about the initial episodes, and I'm answering my own question here, um, was they would take they would do things called an abstraction, where they would take an, a, a little action and repeat it over and over and over again until it became funny, uh, like with SpongeBob's laughter or or something over and over. And it was very simple, not a whole lot of dialogue. And, and the poor writers, as they do in lots of things, they get wordy, and, they, and it becomes a sitcom after a while, and it's not indicative of what a real cartoon is, which is this visual and, and sound and, and, and voice sort of quality. Um, Plankton's a great example of that. I don't mean to, uh, to mean mouth him, but when Plankton's uh, in an episode, he's very verbose. I mean, it's, it's all him talking the entire time, and although it's funny, it's, it's not what cartoons are about. It, you, you, you don't even have to have a cartoon, it could be a live action. And so my, my favorite thing, and, and, I, and, and I think this is what to, you might be referring to, is, is that simplicity, that abstraction that I just mentioned, that, that I think is absolutely the essence of SpongeBob, and, and that's what we had in the initial episodes. So thank you for helping me answer your question. <laughs>